Magic mirror, show us the babies! slumber party. I know it's super last minute, but we thought it would be really fun for the three of us to hang out. Oh, totally. I am so excited that I get to hang out with my favorite sister friends. Oh, just another day at my tower. What should I do today? Make someone fall asleep for a hundred years? Done that. Ooh, turn into a dragon? Ugh, too much heartburn. Uh, I guess I'll just browse Snapchat. Wait, what's this? Bell. On my way to Elsa's to a last minute slumber party, and I wasn't invited? Ugh, they know that I hate not being invited to parties. Well, I guess I'll have to just teach them a lesson. So, what should we do first? We can do whatever we want. We can play a game, or, or we can make music, or um, eat sweets like marshmallows, or we could do makeovers and make slime. Maybe no more slime. It took me hours to get out of my hair last time. Okay, I want cookies. Oh no, wait, cake. A chocolate cake with tons of icing? Ooh, what about macaroons? It all sounds so yummy. Clearly, we are in the mood for something sweet. Oh, that reminds me. Kristoff should be here any minute with some snacks. I hope it's not one of his recipes he learned from the trolls again. Yeah, I mean, I know he means well, but grass and dirt just don't belong in every dish. I can't wait for the girls to try this chocolate dirt and grass pie that the trolls taught me how to make. How shall I ruin their fun? Ooh, I know. I'll use this boy. He seems to be like on the way there and he looks like he's carrying a pie. Now, I'll just have to run into him. Good thing Sven didn't eat this. Ma'am, I'm so sorry. Are you all right? Oh, I'm so sorry. It was my fault. I wasn't paying attention to where I was going. The fault was mine. I should have been more careful. Oh no, you're... Ew, what is that? It's my chocolate grass and dirt pie. I need to scoop it back together. Oh, it's ruined. Too bad. Oh man, now what are the princesses going to eat for their slumber party? I didn't bring anything else and Oaken's shop is closed now. I have an idea. Why don't you take this delicious apple cake I made and happen to have with me? It's perfect for sharing for you and your friends. Are you sure? Well, they're not going to curse themselves. What was that? What? Oh, what I meant was, They'll be so disappointed if they don't have anything to eat, especially Princess Anna, so there you go. You're right. You're such a sweet old lady. Thank you. Bye-bye. <laughs> Wait, old? How does she know about Anna? So then I said, Cogsworth, I think it's time you start having more fun. <laughs> He didn't find it very funny. <laughs> well, I am having so much fun. I don't think this night could get any better. Knock, knock. Special delivery from Arendelle's best delivery boy. Kristoff, oh my gosh, thank you so much for coming and bringing us snacks. What kind did you bring? Well, I brought you this cake. Ooh, yum, what kind? Coconut? Chocolate? Watermelon? Watermelon? Watermelon. <laughs> I'm just so hungry, anything sounds good right now. It's a red apple cake. Yum! For a second I thought it was gonna be something silly like dirt and grass. <laughs> <laughs> no, don't be silly, I wouldn't. Yes, it's all going according to plan. Eat up, girls. <laughs> you know, people think that sorcery is my only skill, but I'm a master baker. Tiana was practically begging me to work at her restaurant. You know what would go perfect with this cake? Ice cream. Oh my gosh, you are so right. We have some in the freezer if you want to go get some. Okay, I'll go get it, but don't eat without me. No promises. This is almost as good as Tiana's. Almost. <laughs> <laughs> almost? <laughs> hey Siri, remind me to destroy Tiana's restaurant once this is all over. 
I shall put it in your agenda, your highness. Would you like a piece, Kristoff? No, thank you, Elsa. I had a big lunch. And also, I brought it for you girls. You guys, I couldn't find the ice cream. I think someone ate it all, Anna. But regardless, I am ready for some cake. What kind of apples are these? Well, I'm not sure. An old lady gave it to me when I dropped the pie I made. What? You gave us a cake from a stranger? Oh no, that can't be good. What just happened? Krista, princesses usually stay away from things with apples because they're usually cursed with some crazy spell. But luckily for me, I have magical power, so I should be... <laughs> Oh no! Anna! Elsa! Kristoff, they're... Babies! Kristoff, I don't know what to do. I've never been a babysitter before. Belle, I'm so sorry. I didn't know it was a cursed apple cake. The old lady seemed so nice. Who could have done this? I doubt it was Gaston. This is too intelligent for him. Hey, um, Belle? Yeah, Kristoff? Where did baby Anna and Elsa go? Okay, uh, don't panic. We just need to find two babies that are out there in the world by themselves, one of which that has magical freezing powers that she doesn't know how to control. <gasps> don't worry, Belle. We'll find them. It could be worse, right? True. I did have an entire village capture my father and then try to get rid of Prince Adam, a.k.a. the Beast. So that was a rough time. Still, this is pretty bad. Where would baby Elsa go? Ah, now this is entertaining. <laughs> Poor princesses Anna and Elsa. Not. <laughs> now those Disney princesses will be lost forever. My wicked plan was finally a success. Your Highness, there are more than two Disney princesses. Yeah, well, Siri, everyone has to start somewhere. Now, for Belle and that annoying Kristoff. The doorbell! Hopefully someone found Anna and Elsa. I hope so. Oh, hello ma'am. Can I help you? Good day, Princess Belle. I'm a Girl Scout selling cookies to curse you. I mean, to raise money. Wait, aren't you a little old to be a Girl Scout? No, I just hit my growth spurt. I'm actually only 12 years old. Uh, 13? I'm really sorry, but I've lost my friends and I need to find them. You haven't seen two babies running around here, have you? No, I haven't. I have just been so busy trying to sell these amazing cookies. Here, try a sample. No thanks, as delicious as that sounds, I couldn't think of eating at a time like this. I gotta go find my friends. Bye. <sighs> Curses. Who was it? Oh, it was just Maleficent disguised as a Girl Scout. Wait, what? How did you know? A, disguise was bad. B, she said she was trying to curse me. And C, she's still trying to sell me mediocre baked goods. She must have been the old lady in the woods that gave me the cake. No doubt. But she will probably be coming back any minute to listen into our conversation. So we need a plan of action. What about your magic mirror? Oh my gosh, great idea, Kristoff. I actually had it made into a compact so that I could carry it with me at all times. Magic mirror, show us the babies. <laughs> Oh my gosh, they didn't get far at all. They're in the kitchen. But the question is, how do we turn them back? We need that old fairy to teach us how to change them back. Looks like we've got company. Look out the window. Drats! The disguise didn't work. I'll just have to come up with another scheme for Belle and Kristoff. Scheduling another scheme for 2 o'clock. Shh! Too loud! We have to be quiet or else she'll hear us. I've got a plan. I'm going to go use Elsa's dress-up clothes. Meanwhile, you stay here and distract her. Distract her? How? Think of something. Sing! But, uh, I can't sing? Just sing anything. You got this. Well, I know one song babies like. Maybe if I sing it loud enough, they'll come out of hiding. The wheels on the bus go round and round, round and round, round and round. Oh, Elsa's costume trunk. Perfect. Oh, 
No cows, cute, but not for this. Um, oh, Cruella, no, no, no. Um, oh, yes, this will be perfect. Oh, I have an idea. Ugh, I wish you would stop that terrible singing. He thinks that is going to help him find the babies? That's going to make everybody run for the hills. Oh, hello, Mally. Fancy meeting you here. Mother Gothel, what are you doing at Elsa's castle? You look different. Do I? I? I mean, that's just because I was using Rapunzel's hair to make me look young again. Did I mention I locked her in the tower again? <laughs> I am just so villainous, no one can compare. Oh, really? Well, listen to this. I just turned Elsa and Anna into babies. <laughs> babies? What? How did you do that? With a poison apple cake. Of course. Oh, really? <laughs> Sounds amateur level. I'm sure there's a simple reversal spell. It's not that simple. You need special fairy dust. <laughs> I stole it from that little Tinkerbell. I'm the only one that has it. Oh, please. Tinkerbell has been giving that stuff away. You can get it anywhere. What? No. This is truly special. What's way more special is my necklace. I got it from Ursula, you know, the sea witch. It's one of a kind. How? I have been trying to get that from her for years. She owed me a favor. I'll trade you. I'll give you the fairy dust for the necklace. I mean... I promise it's real. One of a kind. I suppose. Well... Here you go. Oh, and you know what? I'm gonna throw in some of this moisturizer I made from Rapunzel's magic hair. Looks like you could use some. Mm. Good luck with your little trick. I'm taking over. This is big time. <laughs> you steal some magical hair and you think that you're all that in a bag of chips. Whatever, but now I have this. <laughs> Now, first order of business is to steal that annoying Kristoff's voice. But wait, it sounds like he stopped singing. Now where did Belle go? Mother Gothel, what are you? Shh, Kristoff, it's me, Belle. Belle, that's a really good disguise. So good that it got us this. It's the pixie dust that's going to reverse the spell. Let's go save our friends. Ah, ah, ah. There you are, you crazy babies! Snow! Ice! Whoa! Watch out! Ice! Ice! Babies! Regular Elsa knows how to control our freezing powers, but baby Elsa doesn't! We gotta change them back! Just be careful! Yeah, I feel weird. You guys, I'm so glad you're back. Maleficent turned you guys into babies. Wait, what happened to Maleficent? Yeah, we need to teach her a lesson. Done and done. Ugh, I think this thing is broken. I don't hear any mermaid voices. Ugh, well, I might as well try and use this moisturizer. So I combined some of Elsa's lotion with the apple cake to make a magical apple moisturizer, AKA a taste of her own medicine. Ooh, <laughs> good thinking, Belle. I couldn't have done it without Elsa's costumes and props. I have to admit though, she is kind of cute. <laughs> it's on. Hey friends, it's me, Elsa, your frozen sister from another mister. You know, me, the Snow Queen. I'm coming to you live from Arendelle Castle. Actually, it's my room. Um, so, this is my first vlog. Thanks so much for tuning in. I have got to tell you all about my birthday party. It was crazy.
It started out just like any other day until I realized it was my birthday. <sighs> Happy birthday, sis! And look, I made your favorite breakfast in bed with waffles. Woo! Anna, I'm so excited. This has been a great start to my birthday. Oh, this is gonna be such a fun day. Our friends should be over in just a few hours. I invited all of them to your birthday party. Ah, I can't wait. Okay, I'll finish getting ready and then I'm gonna eat my yummy waffles. Awesome, I'm gonna go finish getting everything ready. The day was going great. Anna had sent invitations to all of my friends like Belle. Elsa's birthday party? Uh, of course I'll be there. Moana? No one knows how far I'll go for Elsa's birthday. It's gonna be so fun. And Cinderella. Elsa's birthday? Oh, I have the best present for her. Oh, I'm so excited. But there was someone else who got an invitation. Or stole an invitation, I should say. All right, let's see what Aurora got in the mail today. Thanks again for stealing these for me, Diablo. Anything for you, boss. Bills, bills, hmm, Starbucks promotion, coupons, credit card offer. Wait a minute, what is this? You are invited to Elsa's birthday? She's having a birthday party and didn't invite me? Ooh, that's wicked cold. My birthday was last week. No one threw me a birthday party. No one got me a gift. Ugh. Elsa would never know how that feels. She has so many friends and gets whatever she wants. Wait a second. I believe I just saw a new spell in Spellbook Quarterly for a new switch up spell. Let's see here. Ha, perfect, there it is. Finally, I'm going to get the birthday I always deserved. Let's see. Abracaboo and diddly do. I need an evil necklace for me and you. Perfect. And I will add a cloak of deception spell just so those princesses won't catch on to my little trick. Diablo, take this to Elsa as quick as you can. Say it's a gift from an admirer. Belle, Cinderella, Moana, how are you guys? Hey, Anna, where's the birthday girl? She's still upstairs getting ready. I will go get her. You guys can put your gifts right over there. Thanks. I'm so excited. I think she's gonna love my gift. Same here. I can't wait to give her my present. Wait a second. I invited Aurora. I don't know. I don't see her anywhere. Well, you know her. Probably taking a nap. Classic Aurora. Oh, I'll go get it. So there I was, excited for the day, when all of a sudden, Anna came in to tell me that I had received a birthday present in the mail. Elsa, this bird just dropped off this package for you and said it was from a secret admirer. Pretty crazy. Also pretty crazy that the bird was talking to me. Anyway, here you go. Wow, that's so crazy. I wonder who it's from. Probably Olaf or something. He's so sweet. Oh my God. It's a necklace, woo! Anna, will you help me put this on, please? Sure, Elsa. Ooh, it's so pretty. <laughs> so, how am I looking? You look great. Um, actually, you look uh, different. <laughs> Don't be rude, sister. <laughs> Sorry, um, you're acting weird. It's my birthday. It's a day of change. Hmm, well, okay. Everybody's here, so why don't we get this party started? Let's go. <laughs> Finally, I'm going to get the birthday party I've always deserved. Except, I don't know if this cloak of deception spell is working as well as it should. Um, Elsa, you coming? Yes, you little brat. I mean, I am just so excited, sweet sister, to celebrate my birthday. You're super strange. Are you okay? Oh, it's just a little birthday butterflies, you know. Let's go. Oh my gosh, where am I? Who am I? Do I have horns? <sighs> I'm, I'm, ah! 
That's right, you guys. I had been turned into Maleficent, the baddest of the bad, rotten to the core villain. Not the greatest part of my birthday. Oh no, I've got to tell the girls. I've got to fix this. All right, you puny excuses for princesses. Line up and give me your gifts. <laughs> Good one, Elsa. You sound just like a villain. <laughs> yeah, is that your Maleficent impression? You sound just like her. Ah, <laughs> yes. That was my impression of that beautiful dark fairy. Um, oh, Cinderella, you look like you have a nice gift there. Yeah, here you go, Elsa. Happy birthday. Glass slippers? What am I supposed to do with this? There's no arch support, you can see right through it. Whoa, Elsa, why are you being so mean? Are you joking? No, Anna, this is the new me. Get used to it. I guess birthdays can really change people. Moana, you seem like you have a lot to say. Time to give me your present now. Um. Here you go. It's my favorite island treat. A pineapple? What am I supposed to do with that? What, cut it up for a snack myself? That's what my servants are for. I'll get it. That's probably Aurora. <laughs> Hang on, guys. Maleficent, what are you doing here? You are definitely not invited to Elsa's birthday. Wait, Anna, it's me, Elsa. Good one, Maleficent, but I can tell you right now, Elsa is inside opening her presents and she does not have horns, okay, bye. But, but. <sighs> you guys, that was so weird. Maleficent was trying to come to Elsa's birthday. What, Elsa? I thought I locked her away in that tower. I mean. <laughs> I'm Elsa, and she's trying to come to my birthday party? Whatever you do, do not let her in. Wait, what are you guys doing? Elsa said she wanted her hair brushed. And book held and face fanned. And I finished cleaning your room, Elsa. Elsa, you're having them do chores? Well, it is my birthday, isn't it? And this is what people do on their birthdays. Um, no, usually they eat cake and do face painting and play fun games and have lots of fun. Well, I think this is fun. Now keep brushing. I can't believe my own sister didn't recognize me. She must be under a spell or something. Needless to say, this birthday party was no fun for anyone. I had to think of something. And then it came to me. I needed a disguise. <gasps> I've got it! If that's Maleficent again, tell her she better leave or I'll turn her into a popsicle. I'll go see. Hello! I'm here for the birthday party! For Elsa's birthday? That's the one! Wait, but I didn't order a clown. Nope! Elsa called me herself. She said her sister loves clouds and it would be as great of a present for her as it would be for her. Yo! Wait a second. Elsa, is that you? Yeah, it's me. I knew it. I'm so sorry I didn't recognize you before. What is going on? A lot. And that's okay. I think she put a spell on you. She should know by now that no spell is a match for the true love between two sisters. Well, that's not the only spell. She also magically made us swap places. That's why I look like Maleficent. And I dressed up like a clown so I could try and sneak in and reverse the spell. <gasps> that's a great idea. Yes, let's get you in there and then we can figure out how to swap this thing. Okay. Happy birthday, Elsa. I guess this isn't a surprise since you ordered a clown, but here's your birthday clown. Clown? I didn't order a clown. Yes, you did because 
you ordered it for your sister because even though it's your birthday, you love your sister so much and you know that she loves clowns so much, so you ordered a clown for your sister. Wow, that clown is really emotional. My sister? Pigtails here? Ah, I don't care about her. Oh, really? Because that doesn't sound like something Elsa would say. I am the all-powerful ice queen, and you should all bow to me. Okay, I really can't do this anymore. I'm not a clown, I'm Elsa. Maleficent? No, she's not Maleficent, she's Elsa. I'm Elsa, I know it's getting really confusing, but I swear I'm Elsa. No, she's Elsa, although she has been kind of a brat today. That Maleficent cast a spell on me so that we would switch places, but, but I'm her and she's me. Look, I'll prove it to you guys. I will ask Elsa a question that only she would know the answer to. Okay, what is my favorite food? Sandwiches! Oh, I guess everybody already knows that one. You guys have to know it's me. I'm your friend. I mean, Belle, I know that there's nothing that you love more than the smell of a new book. And, and Cinderella, I know that you're always losing your shoe and it's hilarious and we all laugh about it. And uh, Moana, you're one of the bravest people I know. It's me, you guys. It is you, Elsa. I feel so bad I didn't recognize you before. That's okay, you were under a deception spell. Your true love for your friends must have broken the spell. I know, but I don't know how to swap us back. You'll never break that spell. Get used to the horns, sweetheart. Wait a second. This all started when you got that necklace, right? The one from Olaf. You assumed it was from Olaf, but I don't think it was from an admirer at all. In fact, I think it was from Maleficent. What? No, I don't give gifts. You do when it's really a gift for you. Take off your necklace, Elsa. It's me again! But how do we get rid of that Elsa? She needs to take the necklace off too. Never! Really? Because it's not a good color on you. You're more of a winter. You brat. I know what you're doing and I am not ever taking this off. I think we need a little magical help. Luckily, I brought Maui's fish hook. Seems like we always run into trouble with these villains whenever we're together. Chee-hoo! No! No! Do I still get to keep the presents? No way, but I do have another birthday activity for you. So, that was my birthday party. Crazy, right? At least I had all my best friends by my side. You know, it makes for a good story, I think, though. And as far as Maleficent, well, I knew just the thing to teach her a lesson. Balloon animals? Uh, this one is um, a ball. This one is a circle. Ta-da!